this is Suman from Civil Unboxing Channel. In this video, we will discuss about how we can estimate total numbers of paper blocks that is zigzag paper blocks required for a thousand square feet surface area. So without getting any further delay, let's get the topic. So as you can see, this type of paper blocks that is the paper blocks are nothing but this zigzag pattern paper blocks we are regularly used in our daily construction life okay so it is very much essential to know about how we can calculate the total surface area of this type of zigzag pattern paper blocks by which we can easily calculate the total numbers of paper blocks required for a specific area as per our requirement so as the pattern is in zigzag pattern so it is quite difficult to understand or calculate in the surface area of this paper block okay so i have a solution for that because uh, if you take a rectangular shape like from here this corner to this corner we can just simply drag a rectangular rectangle shape and place it over it okay this is the rectangle shape we are getting now you can see that the dimension for this zigzag pattern paper block is nothing but 100 millimeter here width is equal to 100 millimeter here also width is equal to 100 millimeter so we can say that the width of this paper block is nothing but 100 millimeter okay and length of the paper block is nothing but 200 here also 200 here also 200 so entire length is nothing but 200 millimeter but we can we can easily get confused uh, that uh, how we can estimate the area for this zigzag pattern as you can see i have placed a rectangular area or rectangular surface over it so this upper portion that is this triangle this triangle this triangle number two and this trapezoidal area can be placed over here that is in that portion here from upper portion it will replace by this one and this upper portion triangle will replace by this one and this upper portion will easily replace by this back end portion okay so we can say that this entire area this here also having a portion of a rectangle surface okay similarly in the left side also if you place uh, cut this uh, triangle portion and place over it it will easily cover that area and here also this portion if you fill to cover then we, uh, we have to cut it here and place over it so we can get a entire rectangle area so that's it how simple is that right now to confirm the dimension of this rectangle area we just hover over here that this dimension is nothing but to 100 mm as bit wise okay here you can see i am hovering here the dimension so entire dimension is in bit wise is 100 millimeter similarly in case of lengthwise dimension is nothing but 200 millimeters more or less okay so now we get the total value uh, of a rectangle area is in length equals to 200 millimeter and width equals to 100 millimeter to we can millimeter we can say now the best concept to calculate no uh, calculate the total numbers of zigzag pattern paper block we just have to calculate the surface area of each paper block so here the surface area means this portion this over portion okay this portion means just i am seeing you this portion this amount of portion we have to calculate that how much area is covered by this rectangle so here length is equals to 200 millimeters is nothing but 200 divided by 1000 so here is the conversion formula from millimeter to meter is 
we have to divide by 1000 so the length becomes 0 0.2 millimeter and the width width is nothing but 100 divided by 1000 from millimeter to meter we have to convert by dividing with 1000 so the width is equals to 0 0.1 meter height is not necessary here and uh, numbers numbers means we are considering each block now so for one block we are assuming the numbers of a surface area equals to one and the area so the total a1 area equals to just we have to multiply all the length as well as width as well as number so length into width is nothing but gives the area so total area in a square meter equal to 0 0.02 square meter okay now this square meter area we have to convert into square feet because we are dealing with a surface area of 1000 square feet the unit of the surface area calculation are given specified by square feet so we have to definitely consider uh, the square feet area value so to, we have to convert this one from a square meter to a square feet so that's why we are uh, multiplying just 10.764 with this a1 that is gross area value okay so gross area in a square feet value we got it as 0 0.215 square feet now the total numbers of waiver block required for 1000 square feet we have to calculate so just we have to divide 1000 divided by each block size so 0 0.215 we have to consider this one so it becomes 4645 numbers of waiver block required and definitely as we are constructing or laying those paper blocks we have to consider some of the wastage value so the five percent wastage we must have to be considered so we are taking five percent wastage so four six four five multiplied by five percent it shows the result of 232 numbers so five percent wastage means 232 numbers of block we have to add extra okay so ultimate total numbers of block we required equals to just we have to sum it up 4645 plus 232 so it becomes 4877 numbers of blocks total required for a thousand square feet area okay as per our given dimension okay now to calculate the total numbers of paper block in zigzag pattern per square feet with five percent wastage we have to just divide those values with 4877 divided by 1000 okay 4877 divided by 1000 total numbers of block divided by 1000 square feet so it will give the per square feet uh, number of value so uh, it comes about 4.9 we can roughly say that this value can be 5 in numbers means so we can easily say that for laying the paper block with zigzag pattern we have to estimate or uh, we have to take five numbers of paper block per square feet okay so i think you got the clear concept regarding this by this way you can easily calculate the total numbers of paper blocks required for a thousand square feet or any type of area so dear guys if you want this type of excel sheet for your daily need then you can drop your email ids in the comment box and i will definitely send you through the email box in the entire excel sheet so that you can easily calculate in near future okay so i hope you got the clear concept today thanks for watching and listening thank you all